So in this question, we're told that C is a piecewise smooth curve in an open region that goes from the point 2, 3 to the point uh, 5, 6. And f of x, y equals x squared times y is a potential function for a continuous vector field f of x, y. Find the work done by f of x, y on an object moving along the path uh, from 2, 3 to 5, 6. So those of you that figured this out realize that the fundamental theorem of line integrals is your friend, right? Um, because all we have to do, essentially, um, well, let me remind you of this. Work done by a vector field is going to be the line integral with respect to the vector field. So symbolically that, right? But the idea is if, if we can write the vector field as the gradient of some scalar field, then this is equal to f of what minus f of what? Little f of from the, the, the scalar function. The scalar function, little, uh, little f. f of what minus f of what in words? There you go. f of the end point minus f of the beginning point. Gosh, I hate beginning. It's such a long word. f of first point? <laughs> Start point, okay, I like that. End start, yeah, it, it is nice to have those opposite. Starting point, but we're shortening it, right? I like that. Oh, and, and you're given the potential function here. So yeah, this isn't bad at all. You know, I mean, it's, it's still easy to make a mistake, it always is, but we can do it. What's the end point gonna be? Five, six, five, six. so F of five, six minus the starting point f of 2, 3. Okay, so we just have to, oh, what's f? Oh, it's this guy. When, so when you can find that easily or it's given to you, when you can find the potential function easily or it's given to you, then FTLI, it's the way to go. Okay, so f of 5, 6, what's that going to be? So 5 squared, 25 times, dot symbol for times, 6 minus f of 2, 3. That's what, what, 4 times 3, 12? So what's 25 times 6? 150. Is that how they still say it, you young kids? No, <laughs> not anymore? Okay. Minus 12 <laughs> equals 138. There you go. So you have to realize that the fundamental theorem of line integrals, it's your friend. Green's theorem, which we talk about in the next section, it's your friend. It makes, normally it makes life easier as far as evaluating these, these line integrals.